Like, is it an American thing? Like, he's doing it. No, no, they can't, they can't do it either. Morning, y'all. That's trippy. Right, flew into Baltimore last night from sunny Orlando to now, this is like UK cold Baltimore. This is gonna be an exciting day today. So a night in a hotel, very nice hotel. And then I'm spending the day with Under Armour. So there's HQ, that's where we're going. We're also gonna spend some time with Gore-Tex as well, because they're only an hour away from here, I think, and Under Armour and Gore-Tex are working quite close, as I understand it. Do you wanna come round? Let's see what the Under Armour boys and girls are up to, shall we? That looks pretty cold in there. This wall is really cool. Um, I love this because it's a story of the first 20 years of the brand. Um, this right here was from our first billion dollar day. Uh, they have a box right here that was the billionth dollar shipment that they had. Um, right here was Kevin all the way back in college. His seed money for, uh, from Under Armour came from a flower company he had in college where he would sell roses on, on, on Valentine's Day. Well, that's embarrassing. I'm not sure why you two are in this picture, by the way. <laughs> it's completely touch screen. Yeah, that and is the pretty Mark cool. The Crossfield story is up on our wall right now, and it's a great story. That what starts... a story. Oh, yeah. All Let's not back. start there, eh? Right? The driving range. <laughs> uh, so, so, Mark, we, uh, you know, we're a very authentic brand, and anytime we have a guest or a partner come in, we want to show you guys that we're authentic and that we know your story. Right? Yeah. Storytelling is uh, part of our DNA. Uh, and if you, if you want to work together with somebody, you've got to know them. So uh, your story uh, starts right here uh, at Clifton Hill in Exeter. Uh, this is where you started your early beginnings as, as a golf guru. So yeah. kind of cool to see the place where it all started, right? Um, you were kind of the first person to get on this YouTube, uh, I guess, trend or, or wave, right? Yeah. This is uh, the first episode from uh, over 10 years ago. This yeah, is it is. 10 years ago. September 15th. Yeah. So. Ten years, it's mental, uh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but but that's it's pretty cool because ten years ago nobody was doing this. No, absolutely not. Absolutely, yeah. You it know, is. and it has really progressed to different sports, basketball, you know, athletes do it all the time. So yeah. really cool to see that you were really ahead of the game. So things like this was a lesson using your own family, by the way. Yeah. Uh, to talk about, yeah. Look at the guys. To talk about uh, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Right there in the backyard. You know, yeah. to talk about trajectory, right? You don't absolutely. have to increase the power, you just This apparently is a gym. <laughs> I feel very at home here. It's the Big E. If I rub his knee, I get good luck, do I? Yes, if you rub Big E's knee, you get good luck. I get Big E. I am, I'm touching it area, don't worry. <laughs> Bring me good luck, apparently. <laughs> So this came out in 2014. Okay. Uh, but we then were able to push this to the outdoor world. You're skiing, you're snowboarding. You don't want to have well, to take your person, gloves off. Well, the person, you a person who loved this in my family. Um, your She's daughter. six years old, yeah. <laughs> she hates doing her coat up. So yeah. she goes to school and doesn't do her coat up. And she saw this on mine and was like, why have I not got that on my coat? Yeah. We're gonna shoot some hoops. Come on, you've got to shoot hoops, otherwise I just look like the idiot. See, my problem is I just, want to, I just want to do this. Sorry. Right, okay, so this is it, right? Who gets one in first? Okay, you go first, right. so then I've got one to catch up. How long we got? How long we got? Oh, 
I can only apologise for all that. Right, we're now at the lighthouse, just slightly different location. I'm a little bit worried what might happen in here. You want to talk a little bit about what, what we do with these scans? Yeah, like what, for, what is, yeah. yeah. So, um, we actually just scanned a whole team in here the other day. We scanned an athlete earlier from a football team, a college football team. So there's two things that we want to do. We want to capture any athlete, whether they're a college team or a um, professional athlete. And we've got their, we'll capture them in the neutral sequence, which is what we'll capture you in today. Yeah. And um, we can process that, get the 3D model, and take measurements from it, and start understanding really what sport that body um, fits into looks like. Okay. So we can build our product better. Yeah. Well, even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've had Spieth in here, right? So now we have all of the data in his, both in um, his body type. Yeah. And his motion. Okay. And so then, he swings in there. Yep. He had his clubs in here, and then Aaron can get to work with designers. So De it's designing an actual it's yeah garment the way that he needs it virtually needs. without having to build physical prototypes, and then also knowing because it, it's that avatar is three dimensional, they know precisely how that design will work, drape, and move with his body yeah, before yeah. ever making a physical garment. Cool. Proto. Do, do you have to scan him at different times of the year? Just in case. Ideally, <laughs> yes. Question. Straight after Christmas, probably not the yep, best scan. Yep. Right after Thanksgiving, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm not at my fittest peak at the moment. <laughs> if anyone is wondering, stop laughing. <laughs> so we would want to capture the athlete ideally at major yeah, um, their points in their career. Yeah, yeah. And um, we obviously only get the athletes at whenever they can get here. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. So you're all set. I'll take your glasses. And um, okay, are you ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay, so bend your elbows and go into T pose. And then back to A one last time. This isn't awkward. And um, what you're seeing now is the actual mesh of the model being reconstructed. It'll disappear for a moment, and um, while it disappears, it's actually like mapping the texture okay. to the model. Yeah. Um, and then it'll show you the final thing. So there you are. Let me bump it down for you. That's insane, isn't it? So how much can you pump in on like the face? What detail are you picking up on skin, for fact, for instance? I don't know what you know about 3D modeling, but this mesh, um, that's actually a really high resolution mesh. Right. So that kind of shows you visually the resolution that the cameras are able to capture. And then here, you can see how intense um, this camera frame resolution. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Right, short journey. We've now come to Gore-Tex Global HQ. And I think they've got plans to get me a little bit wet in here. Right, these Under Armour boys think it'll be a good idea if I wear my Under Armour waterproof and stand in this room. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Wish me luck. When that door closes and I have a panic attack, so this, is this is all thing. on camera. Drain it. This is, this is easy. Come on, hit me. Oh, <laughs> 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 
He's like literally turning the trap up now, isn't he? I should do some swing, shouldn't I? So this is around 15 millimeters an hour. Just under half an inch. Still five. Yeah, so five is to be What's is worse with the Begarmel? Fine or bigger drops or should makes no difference? Water is water. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest shower I've ever stood in. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go all the way now. I feel like we need to go like big drops. <laughs> so it's about 40 millimeters an hour, like an inch and a half. Yeah. But I don't play in this way, <laughs> I can still go higher. Yeah, go up. Alright, go one more. Go one more. What am I doing? And the shoes are as well. Right. Shoes, I've not worn these yet, and that's like this. Again, as long as you've got that over the shoe, nothing is getting in there. Are you going in, guys, now? <laughs> so all we've done here is put hot water, just to show you the membrane actually being breathable, which this would be similar to the membrane that's used in the laminate. So if you give me a hand, okay, so you go, it feels dry, yeah, just hot, it's warm. So there you can see that the water is actually coming out. So that, you know, part of this is it keeps the water in, it keeps it waterproof, but then it does allow yeah. the moisture to come out, which is the way the water vapor is now condensing, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. So these sensors are protecting moisture on, so that's in, what's in inside, there. Inside basically. of those, yeah. So okay. you can see we have several spots underneath the foot. This is obviously a small, uh, child's foot, we have spots under the foot, we have spots on top. Each of those sensors is wired up to here, so you can see that this is set up. So all these are green saying it's good because they've not been in the water at this point. Um, and it's set, this is set for 100,000 cycles, which is what we do for, for this type of a shoe. You can see they're not totally submerged, they go above the feather edge into the shoe. And then when I push start, Now they start flexing. And now you wait. <laughs> We're at 85 cycles right now. And this will go all the way up to 100,000 yeah. when it's finished. So you don't have to actually stand here and know when it failed. It wait. will start and we get a, an indication of when it failed and where it failed. So even if it dries out, we know exactly where the failure point was yeah. so that we can go and look at the shoe and analyze for that. Yeah. These ones are doing all right, boys. What a day. Look what I have come back to. Hello, my little friends. What a day. <laughs> Speed my two golf shoes. Lovely, lovely. Another thing that's quite fun, they've got Taylor guitars that you could just borrow at this hotel. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Train in hand, Baltimore. Fifteen miles east shows me no one's around. I need a phone call. Right, Baltimore, what you got for me? There we go. What a fun day that was. I think the thing that really interests me is the amount of effort that goes into not obviously only brand, so if you take Under Armour, you know, there's a lot of effort going into making the brand cool and all that kind of thing, which all the sports brands do. It's also the amount of effort that goes into just the garments and the, what they call technology around fabrics, how they move, then obviously they're 
relationship with Gore as well, which was mind blowing seeing all that kind of development and stuff and the size of that company. And I think often we just buy garments, don't we? And we buy them because we like the look of them and all, you know, we like them just like the look we want for the play, we want those kind of things. We're actually, maybe, there's the, here's one for you. The shirts I would have worn 10 years ago to play golf in some of the warm countries I play in now would have been so much more uncomfortable than the shirts I wear now. So everyone's obviously in a rush to watch the new driver video and the new iron video, which I understand because that's fun. But there's a part of me that wonders if so even just the garments in the last 10 years might have pushed forward more than some of the equipment. Post comments down below, let me know what you think. What an amazing office. That's not what my office is like at home. <laughs> I want a basketball court. I can only apologize for how rubbish we both were at basketball. Post comments down below. What do you think of that as an office? Thanks for watching. Heading home tomorrow. Can't wait to see the gang. And we'll see you all on Monday.